G'day guys, and this tutorial will be going through emissions. Now, there are different uh, techniques um, for emissions, and there are different ways you can achieve them. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to do it, which ones are better, and how to apply them to different scenarios. So, as you can see here, we already have a scene set up, and in this scene, we have a few different based emissions. The first is object based emissions. Object based is the best way to go since directions isn't pointing in a certain direction, it's pointing everywhere, and you can't have much control over your scene. But in some situations, which I had, it can uh, help you if you're in a rush or some sort. The next is plane based emissions. This one um, from the others are a lot more better because if you see here in the rendered form, so if you see here, as you can see, the object-based ones aren't as lit up as the plane-based one because all of the direction, all the light directions, is pointing downwards. So now, with the uh, with that out of the way, let's talk about how to actually set your scene up. So how do I how do I go about setting my scene up. So let's start from scratch. Right now you have a by default your render will look like this. So how do you do it? Alright, for the first things first, we have to get a mesh a meshed in here to do the lighting. So let's get a cube. Let's get a UV sphere. Let's get a plane, and let's get another plane. Now, with uh, the lighting, make sure it's on the side. You can make sure it's. Uh, I like to do it on, on up against the wall to have a nice effect to it. However, you can do it in the middle. Okay, so for this one, we we'll like to add a new material, and in here zoom in, change this to emissions, and change the color to white. And just quickly copy the, uh, go on the next objects and just copy the, yeah, and do that for the other materials. But don't do it on the fourth one. So now you can also change the color. Let's also change the color a bit. So let's give this a green. Let's give this a blue and press plus and let's give this a red. Okay, and let's just hit render, and there we are. Now, and let's also change your world settings to black to get a better effect of it. Now, with the fourth one, the reason why we didn't do the fourth one is because you can have image-based uh, lighting, so whatever is in your image the image, the colors in your image will affect the emission. So, press new, press emissions, go to shift A, go to texture, image, connect your image node to the color, click open, and as you can see with this one, And as you can see with this one, it's all a rainbow. You can see greens. Choose other colors too. Let's just put that here. Really cool stuff. If we put it here rainbow effect. 
So that's uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're going to implement IES lights yet. If they do, it will be magnificent. But that is pretty much the basics in emissions. Hopefully, uh, you'll use this to your advantage. Use this tutorial as a guideline and try and work up your different ideas. Anyway, thank you for watching.